Good morning. Like I said, my name is Mark Anthony, the one and only. Love it. Uh, today, I'm going to be working and to show you how to do a full wrap mug. When I mean full wrap, I mean full wrap. I mean, you see this? You see underneath? You see the curve and everything? That's an easy task. You just got to dominate, just like my, my Bad Bunny mug. You see it? Bad Bunny? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get that that perfect, perfect underneath. See other lines? See right here? I want you to take a look. Today, I'm going to show you my video. This is a Mug 11 from, from Candy System. Uh, hi, Karen. Uh, and I'm going to show you today how to get that perfection. Okay, I know a lot of people ask me for the water bottle. The water bottle is going to be after the 26th, that video, because it takes a little bit of time. But today, a lot of people ask me how they could get this perfection. You see it right there? That's perfect. That's a perfect full wrap. I mean, you this, the only thing white is the handle and the inside. But I'm going to show you today a full wrap on a Mug 11 from Candy System. Okay, so let's let's start with the basics the basic things you need first you will need you will need uh sf 79 okay you will need one of these okay i use a sack though I mean, that's my favorite for the past 25 years. My favorite brand, the Sacto. Make sure you a clear ruler and a metal ruler. I use this to cut. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. And I got my artwork already printed. I do two foot per sheet and an eight, eight and a half by 11. Okay. How I do it, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So let's get started. And, uh, and, I'll flip, I'll flip the camera. I got three, three cameras. I got two Samsung Note recording in the top, and uh, and we're gonna start. Okay, so you could share this video, subscribe to my channel because this, I'm gonna do a lot of the videos that you, is gonna help you achieve the a hundred percent of the a sublimation process. Trust me, trust me. I'm not gonna let you down. So let's start. Okay. I'll be here we go okay first I got the S SF 79 and I got my ruler just something real quick about this uh, how to get ready for the muck what I do I take this piece I fold it here and cut it with my ruler Okay, put this one aside. Then I'll take this one and cut it. And I get one piece for my mug. What I do with my plastic ruler, I wanna take that bend out. I do this. Okay, now here comes the, the easy part now. I leave this here flat and I got a pat pattern pending template. I did create this. I did submit it to my lawyers. They're gonna are gonna pat, pattern, put a pattern on it. And if you want one of these, I'm gonna leave the link in the bottom. Okay, so like that you could contact me and I'll make you one. I mean it's gonna be more this is my trial, okay? I'm gonna do this a little bit more professional. But this I, it took me a couple months just to create this. I created this one first, but I didn't like it. So now I created this. So what I do, I put it here on top of the um, on my wrap. Okay, I take the sato, the sato. Okay, in Spanish. Okay, and then I cut it. Okay, I just do this. 
Be careful, don't get cut. Trust me. Make sure you cut everything. Make sure you use a mat, a self-healing mat, then you cut the, you cut the most important part, do it twice. Okay, so I already got mine. I'm ready for my mug. Okay, let's put this in a sign. I will need that. Okay. I'm going to put this in a sign. Let me go with my artwork. This is easy. This is the easy part. I don't know if you can see it from the top. Okay. This is for one of my customers. Okay. I trim everything by hand. This is real important. Okay. I love this man. It's the best thing you could, you could get to work with a knife, with a sacto knife. Make sure you press it down. This is gonna be a full wrap mug, okay? This is the way I do it. You see the handles? See that? I'm gonna show you now. Trim it to the, you gotta trim this white part because you're gonna use it down when you're getting ready to do the mug. Before, this used to take me a lot of time but practice my perfection, okay? Like I said, my name's Mark Anthony. I own by markdesign.com and partydesign.com. Everything gonna be in the link in the bottom. Let's put this in a side. Let's clean up. I like to, okay? So this is my artwork and I'm almost ready to, to create a beautiful, beautiful mug okay here you go you're almost ready you see that's what we need make sure you put everything away for safety okay so I got I got my artwork for my mug and I got my shrimp shrimp wrap let me get the mug I should have have it here by the time uh It's not far away. Okay, here's my mug. Okay, let's apologize for the inconvenience that we had. A, I had a, I didn't have the tape ready because I've been doing a lot of artwork. So I go through one, one of these every three, three days or four because I mean, I use this tape a lot. I mean, this. The success of a full wrap is all about the tape. If you tape it good, you're gonna have a, a perfect full wrap. So don't be shy. Sorry, I wouldn't like to do this. Either. I'm the only one that uses it anyway. This should perfect. I mean, this is sometimes it's annoying. So I, I did use the, the sacto, okay. I like to perf perfect things when they don't work, especially on these tape. They are not, they're not quite the measure so for the, so what I created, I created a double plastic, you see? So it will, it will not come out. Okay, perfect. We almost there. Now, this is the top. Okay, always make sure you're looking at the top. You see it? Because you don't put it backwards. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna put it here. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna connect, touch it right here by, by the ear, and come back and make sure everything is good. Okay. No problem, I um, mean, it's, it's a full wrap, so it, I always leave it a little bit like this, you see it? So I could get that, the top to bottom. Make sure you press and bring it here and just put one tape here and make sure you press it down and you pull it towards you so that that will be tight. 
Okay, I was number to put two. Got that secure. This is the more important part. Remember that full wrap around it? So make sure you, you take this and that thing is, I mean, press it down. Okay, same thing here. Okay, press it down. You see it? See how perfect it is? You see how perfect? You see it? I mean, that's that's tight. On this one, you're gonna miss a little bit here, a little bit there, but I'm not worried about that. Now, remember when we cut this, you see this one is, is bigger than this one? So this is the bottom and this is the top. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna put it like this, okay? You see it? See how, how neat? You see how the corners, you see it right here? Flat, touch it though here. Bring this to the back, and let's put two pieces of tape here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you why. Because when you, you see it? Now, turn it around, press it towards you, okay? Like that, tight. Put a piece of, of tape in this corner, and put another piece of tape. Sorry for that. I like to work with a clean environment. Another piece of tape here. And I had learned in the past, make sure you put one like this up and down. Because if not, you're going to regret it when you put in that heat. It, it will go. It will separate. So make sure you do that. Then you come like this way. Same thing. Press. Piece of tape. Okay. Another piece of tape. On this one, I like to put one in the middle, just to be the safe side. And the same thing. Let's put a piece of tape up and down. You ready now? Now, this is the, the tricky part. This is the part that you gotta do it right. But if you don't do it right, you're gonna, when you heat, when it's in the oven, you're not gonna get that full wrap. So this is the way I'm gonna do it. Put a piece of, paper, of tape right here in the middle, okay? To secure that, that piece. Now you see this, and you see this. We're gonna put tape all around it. Piece of tape here, like this. You see it? See it like that? Now, another piece of tape here. You're gonna you're gonna realize after you, you do a couple of them why you put that tape there. If you don't put that tape there, you're gonna lose grip and you're not gonna get that perfect underneath the handle resort. Okay, like that. I'm doing I'm doing it slow because I want you to see how I do it. Okay. This will take time. That's why I mean if you want to sell your mug for cheap. Go ahead, but a full wrap for me, I'll sell it for 19, for between $19 and, and, and $29. So it all depends on the, the artwork. You know, if the customer give me the artwork, well, it is what it is. You see it? You see it here? You see it right here? Now I'm gonna, I, I want one in this corner, in the top, in the bottom, I mean. I know this is the bottom. Okay, always press down, see? Right here, I'm gonna put one from here to down here because I mean, like that, I could cover corner to corner, okay? And just be careful, you don't mess up your tape because sometimes long tape like this, it plays with you for a while, okay? So now I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right here close to the to the edge, and here we go. We got a, we got a, I don't we got a full, a red, ready to make in the oven, full wrap mug. You see it? You see how easy it is to tape because I did that template? Don't worry, if you want one of those pieces, I don't know the price of it, but I could make you one. So like that, it's easier, you don't gotta be cutting. In the beginning, I used to cut, cut, cut. But now, after I did that template, I mean, it just practice makes perfection. 
now one, once I get the padding on it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to produce a couple hundreds of those. So like that, if you want them, you can buy them from me. I don't know the price yet, but it's going to be a cheap price, so you could have one. And maybe I'll do it either in plastic or in metal or in wood. I, I, I prefer wood. I don't like plastic. Uh, I prefer wood. Thin wood, I mean, it's not something that, because like that, you don't mess up. If you're doing metal, you're going to mess up the blade. If you're doing plastic, you, in, then it will. But let me see what happens. Probably I'm doing one of these materials, you know. I don't know. Let me see what happens once I, I get the pattern on it. And I, and I get the, and I get to, because I'm going to produce it in-house. Because I'm going to buy the machine and everything. So be ready for the oven. I mean, now I'm going to, I'm going to use the heat gun. Make sure when you, when you heat, when you do the heat gun, I'm not going to do it here. Because I got uh, <clears throat> my computer equipment here. And I don't want to mess it up. But make sure when you, when you're doing the heat gun, you cover everything, okay? I mean, everything. And especially put some heat around this area. Remember, some of this plastic is gonna gonna shrink a little bit, but it's no problem because the tape will hold down your, your artwork. Right now, you see how tight it is, you know? So make sure you do that, okay? I'm gonna show you the, the final product on it. I'm gonna go to the oven, turn on the oven, 14 minutes, 400 degrees. But I'm gonna tell you something, guys. And I had learned this when when you put more than one. They said the one and one time I put twelve in the oven. But you gotta realize that you gotta count what's the what time it took you to put those twelve in the oven. They said that it took you three minutes to put twelve in the oven. So instead of fourteen minutes, make sure you did you do eighteen to twenty. Because, I mean, when you open the oven, you're going to lose heat. And, and one time, it, I almost messed up a whole dozen. And then I, when I took out the first one, I always check one out. Take one out of the oven, check it, and I saw that it was not ready. So I left the other one uh, five more minutes. So I realized that if you're going to do a dozen at a time, give it 20 minutes. It's not, don't do 14. It's not going to happen. And make sure when you put it inside the conventional oven, don't put them together like this. Make sure you have at least, let's, I'll say two inches in between cups, so like that the heat, and make sure you put it like this. Don't put it like this with the opening up. Put it like this because the heat comes up. I use a, I use a baking sheet that's like the one that you use for the heat press, and I put it, I put it in the baking, baking sheet. I, I put that and I put it right there, okay. I had tried to do it without the baking sheet, but uh, I like the baking sheet, ba baking pan, sorry, the baking pan, and put on top of the baking pan like that, and I put 12 at the same time, that baking pan, and I put it in the in the middle rack, 12, I'll, I'll give it 20 minutes. If I do 6, I'll do 14, but if I do 12, I'll give it 5 more minutes, and trust me, you get, you get a perfect one like this, look at that, see, I did 12 of these. At 20 minutes, look at that. See it? How beautiful it is. It's gorgeous. Okay. And uh, what I do, I use uh, not hot. I mean, not cold water because I like to put in cold water. But I learned a couple of things. The shrimp rag will come out easy when it's hot, and the paper it will come out easy when it's wet, and you don't get burned. I already got my burn in, in my arm. So you wanna you you wanna avoid that. So you could put it in water, mild water, not that hot, not that cold, uh, and and take your time, and then always. I mean, I'm gonna tell you my first mug I did back in twenty something years ago. It was it was the one that you you cut right here. I had somebody in 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 the group that said that. That customer, they don't like, they don't like this gap here. You see this gap? He told me that customer, they don't like that gap. Hey, I rather have this little gap here than having a, a cut right here and a cut right there, and see all that white. No, this is a real, real, true fruit wrap mug. Real, real fruit wrap. It's easy. You got the technique. If you don't understand that, I'm gonna leave my information in the bottom. So that either you call me, you contact me, 
but once you master this, you're not gonna go back to doing. You will do full rap, and people will pay you twenty-four dollars for this. Trust me. I have sold the 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 mug that change with the heat. I, I always forget the name. The muff uh, muff uh, muff mugs. Thirty dollars, and people pay. You know what? Because of this, the the presentation when they see it, people ask, "Who did that?" They see my name. You see, I, I suggest underneath, right here, you put your logo. Over, you see it right there here. A little, just put two, copyright two thousand and put your name and then your dot com. So that that way, when somebody gives that, who who did that? They always see that your logo. You see it right here. See, you are the one that created this. You go, you earned the right to have your logo there. Uh, just like Nike, they put the logo in the sneakers. So this is, I, I'm proud of doing this. So that's why I put my logo there. So people know that I did this. Nobody going to come. No, somebody going to buy a hundred of these and they're going to say, no, I made them. Well, if you don't, if you don't want me to put my logo there, you're going to pay $15 more. I, I don't care. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's, I'm, it's, I'm taking pride of what I did. So no, Mark, I don't want, you, I don't want your logo there. Okay. So you're going to pay $15 more for mugs. Because, I mean, then you're going to say that you did it? No, that's not fair. That's, it's copyright. There's a new law, a copyright law out there. They just uh, approved it yesterday with the, with the uh, COVID bill. So make sure you, you understand what copyright means. See, this this artwork from Bad Bunny, it was created by a friend of mine from Argentina, Valentina. You see it right here? That's her signature. I put her, I put her signature there because she did the artwork for me. I created everything. I, I did manage to put it together for the mugs, but this is a beautiful piece of work. I like the colors. I used this. Uh, I bought the. I, I used the Sawgrass printer. The as uh, the 500. I've been using Sawgrass inks since the beginning, since since 2000, and I will not change it. I don't care what's out there. Sawgrass ink are the best, and Candy, Candy system. They could give you. I mean. That's not I don't I don't buy from nobody else. Everything I got is from Candy. And thank you to Karen Robinson and Candy that had always trusted me. And as a as a customer, I respect me as a customer. They delivered the best quality, good price. No, they give me good price. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the final product of this in here. So see how the, the full wrap goes in the corner. You see, you see how full of it? You see it right here? There's no white. They're gonna say they're gonna cut it here because I don't want the handle underneath the handle. So I'll see you in a minute. Well, not in a minute. In 14 minutes, I'll be back with the video. I'll okay. Here's my full wrap. Okay. See how beautiful it came out. Beautiful, all the details. Okay, let me get some light. Okay, see it. See underneath, underneath the the handles. You see how close, sharp. You see right here in the bottom. You see how neat. Okay, look at this underneath it. This is a full wrap, a hundred percent full wrap. You see it right here. See it right there. See it right there. You see all this detail? How beautiful it is? Okay, look at that mug. People will pay whatever price you ask them, okay? This is a mug for a customer. You could look for this customer in Maripili, fashion.com. She sell these. I, I produced this for her so she could sell it. Just Google Maripili Fashion dot com fashion dot com and you could get and you could see all the creation that I make for her. I create all this. She just gave me the photos. I do the rest. The background and everything. This background was not the same. So look how beautiful is the detail. How neat and beautiful mug. Okay. So subscribe to my channel so I could make I'm gonna make the if I see a lot of subscribers I'll do the water bottle full wrap. If I don't see it, it's not. 
I, I got to continue with my business. So check this out. Okay. Beautiful.